You can't win them every day, right? You can't win every game every day. But it was just a big day for the Bengals. We straight up got whooped. I mean, hands over the head. Somebody I got to pay today. I'm going to allude to that later on probably. I mean, I know I probably am, but, like, we just got out. We just got whooped by the uh, – them Bobcats. Oh, I think their name is the Bengals. I think that's the team names. But I'm going to call them Bobcats today. So, without further ado, I'm willing to, you know, answer these questions, man. Bro, I, I, bro, come, come on. Come, come on now. If we have Pitts and London going for under 50 yards total for a game, you have to get them the ball. You have to scheme them the ball. That's the focal point of the game is to try to get your star players the ball. They're both for first-round draft picks. Pitts went so quick that I couldn't even watch the draft in time for him to go. So if you take somebody in that quickly, you got to give them the ball. Last year, he went for 1,000 yards. This year, I'm worried if he's going to get over 500. So we got to get him the ball, man. Him and Drake, man, it was just so apart today. Just trying to get the star players the ball, to be real with you. Yeah, man. You know in the we did, bro. We, we did. did. Facts, man. Facts. Right. True. I mean, no, to be real with you, we just got our asses kit to be real with you guys. I mean, Joe Burrow did his thing. It seemed like he was channeling his national championship days with him and Jamar Chase because they went crazy today. And unfortunately, I had Jamar Chase on my fantasy, so like it's like I was slick going for him. But I don't want them to beat our Falcons, man. Him, T. Higgins, it was just an all-out crazy performance, man. But the good thing I will say about the Falcons is that we did fight back in the second half by getting 17 points, but it just wasn't enough today, man. It wasn't enough. It wasn't. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> I mean, I like our chance against Carolina this week. Sh salute to P.J. Walker for going crazy on the Bucks, And that just goes to show that the Bucks are not who everybody thought they was. Everybody in the division right now has a, fe a legit, like, legitly feasible chance of winning the division. Saints fans can look optimistic right now. We can look optimistically, optimistically in a divisional standpoint, even though we didn't play a good game this week. Because the Bucks are not the same. I've never seen Brady have this much trouble getting offense going on. I saw he had an open Mike Evans, but Mike Evans' his hands are made of, like, bricks or something like that. Because it just bounced right off. So, I, 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 if I'm asking for myself and every team in that division, everybody feels confident when the NFC South right now. Just to be 100 with y'all. My dog HP with the hell going on. Facts. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, as a fan, I'm going to say yes, but I, it's crazy. Like, it could be feasible, but it just depends on how bad Brady want to keep sucking like this just to be real with you guys because i did pick us to win eight games and that was admirable at the time i made the pits but this division is looking like the nfc east last year so it honestly feel like 10 to 11 games is psh, dub city so i think the name of the game is just start to play better i mean Shout out to Armstrong. He was on the practice squad last year. I mean, not last year. I mean, this week. And came into the game when A.J. Terrell and Hayward was hurt. So, I mean, kudos to Armstrong for doing the best he can. But <sighs> Bengals just went crazy on us, man. Joe Burrow just threw 400 plus. Jesus.
It's on this page. I'm just playing. Shout out to my dog, Jug, man. It's the only fan I know of the Bengals, man. I had to pay up, man. I'm not going to say it's cash out, but, bro, you know the money was sent, man. And also, I want to give a shout out to Channing, his little boy who played baseball. I've been seeing him posting out his kid all the time, doing good sports thing. And he got a W today, beast mode against Gresham Park, and they won 21-2. to two. Like, that was crazy, man. Uh, big shout out to my dog, Jug. I call him Jukebox, but, like, Hey, man, you got my bread today, man. Salute to you, man. I can't even cap you down, bro. Right. Honestly, it's a couple, but my main focal point is going to be Troy Anderson. That was our... That was our rookie that we drafted in, I believe, the third or fourth round this year. And it seemed like every week he's either first or second in tackle. So I do like the upside in Troy Anderson for sure. Uh, I don't think it's going to be anytime soon unless Mariota really, like, poops to bed like four weeks in a row. I was looking at the uh, the YouTube press conference of Arthur Smith, and all I seen was spamming Ritter, 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 Ritter. And there's a couple of my boys who don't like Mariota either, but... I mean, we're three and four, still feasible to win in the South. And unless Mariota, like, legitly just, like, plays terrible. Like, he didn't throw an interception. Like, so it was. It is. Because we do have a lot of rushing. We do run the ball a lot, too. We don't have Cordell Patterson. So it just seems like we're just inconsistent right now with the game plan. Trying to get Pitts and London the ball. I think we need to focus on that a lot more. We really do. It's crazy, bro. And good luck next week, man. I will say rise up, but dog, come on. Arthur Smith, get this right practice week for real, bro. Like, we need to get these dubs, man. I do not like doing losing press conferences, but I appreciate all my guys. My dog, Jacob, HP, and my man, Gabe, give me all these questions. But, man, I'm out this thing, man. Uh-uh. Not this week, dog.